Whoosh! What is going on guys? Welcome back to my channel. Mike Odom here, Odom Figuration. And I am finally back on my grind. I'm finally back to making videos. I'm gonna start doing some display art. I'm definitely gonna start posting on social media more often. I haven't been doing as much as I used to do because I actually work in marketing now. I work for an equipment dealership in agriculture and construction and I do all their marketing. So I'm doing all their social media. I'm doing their website stuff. I do inventory stuff. And I am very busy making content over there. But I'm very happy with my job. Summer was very crazy. We did just recently move. The kids had summer off, so we were busy entertaining them the entire time. Uh, it rains and snows a lot here in Washington, so we definitely took advantage of the summer. We went out as much as possible. We went to uh, Mount Diablo. That was a really cool place. Um, but yeah, I'm finally back on my grind. I, in this video, I do specifically want to go over all the Marvel Legends that I've been picking up over the summer. I'm not rich, so I have not picked up every single one, but I did pick up all the good ones, and I want to go ahead and talk about those ones because I haven't reviewed them individually. So I just kind of want to go over them all right now. Jackson's playing Spider-Man in the background, but don't mind him. But I wanted to let you guys know that I've been working full time and my gear has really gone up. So I'm gonna go ahead and do a kind of a gear review, maybe tomorrow, maybe over this weekend. But I definitely have gotten some new gear and if you guys are interested, definitely comment below and I'm, I'm gonna do a gear review anyways. I don't, I don't, I don't care. <laughs> I definitely have a lot of ideas in my head. I don't know how practical they are, but I am planning on doing a lot of videos for the rest of this year. Um, definitely stay tuned for all that. If you haven't subscribed, please do subscribe. Please leave a comment, leave a like, let me know what you guys are thinking of my videos. And this is definitely gonna be a fun summer, a fun winter. Let's go ahead and check out these figures. After that, I'm gonna go ahead, I've already ripped out my detoffs, so I'm definitely gonna be working on my displays this weekend. Let's go ahead and check out these figures and then see what I'm gonna be doing with these displays. All right, and here are the Marvel Legends that I picked up over the summer. Now, I'm not rich, and I didn't pick up every single wave, every single figure coming out in the waves. Um, I did select which ones I wanted. The X-Force Wendigo wave, I did pre-order that entire wave and pick that up. I did have the um, 80th Anniversary X-Men wave pre-ordered, but I don't know. I just didn't want to fork up all that money up front, so I did go hunting, and I did find Silver Samurai and the Ninja Wolverine a little bit early. I did find them at GameStop and had to pay that markup, so that sucked, but I did find them a little early and that was great. And I just recently, last weekend, found Storm at GameStop. So I'm really happy that I was able to find them in the wild. I think I got really lucky with that Storm, finding her in the wild. I did pick up the Walgreens exclusive Emma Frost last weekend. And I'm really happy that I got her so early that I don't have to go to every single Walgreens and hunt her down. This weekend, I did pick up the Cowboy Wolverine and I'm happy about that. There were four at the GameStop and all of them had the chip in the hat, so that kind of sucks. But I will be reviewing that figure and going over it later, so stay tuned for that. As for these figures, I'm just gonna review a couple of them, talk about why I think they're cool and everything like that. So let's go ahead and dive into these figures and see what they're all about. All right, so first off, I wanna talk about Nightcrawler. This, this is an awesome figure. I think it was the best figure from the Wendigo wave. It's definitely a nice improvement from the Toy Biz figure. Uh, I do think there are some things that the Toy Biz one has better than this one, but I mean, those are minor things. And it's just the toe articulation, maybe the hand articulation and the uh, wired tail but other than that this is an awesome figure it comes with three alternate heads uh, this one is my favorite one it's kind of that you know he just poofed and appeared and he's gonna kick some ass so I, I, I really love this figure the articulation is great I'm not gonna go over anything like that but this has to be my top figure from any of the waves that have came out recently so all right so next up i would have to say it's the ps4 spider-man this is a great figure it's on a great mold and that game was amazing my son's actually jackson's still playing it right now it's probably his third time playing the story but it is a great game and this is a great figure i really like this costume the articulation is on point with the butterfly joints and it's just an awesome spider-man figure i'm just top-notch figure 
So next up has to be Gambit. We all love Gambit. We've all wanted an updated Gambit. This is definitely a step up from the Toy Biz version. I'm very happy with this one. I'm definitely a Gambit fan. I grew up in the 90s, so I definitely played all the X-Men vs. Street Fighter and just Marvel games in general. Um, they did add Gambit a lot in the past. They don't really bring him, bring him out at all anymore. I don't know why. But yeah, this is a really cool figure. I'm very happy with it. And let's just move on. And next up, another one of my favorites from the Wendigo wave was actually Boom Boom. I think this figure is really awesome. She looks straight out of the 90s. The, the hot pink in her costume came out great. I really love it. Her costume looks amazing. The boots she has looks great. Her glasses are awesome. Her hair is awesome. I mean, this is a Mayshelf may shelf head sculpt so it's 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 spot on it's amazing i really like the effect in the hand everything about this figure is really cool um i really do think she's under the radar and not enough people are using this figure but i personally think she's amazing and of course x-force wolverine we all knew we were going to get this version of wolverine um but they did upgrade the claws and i'm a huge fan of these claws they look amazing uh this figure came out great i do believe it matches the deadpool and the x23 x-force figures that have came out already so i really am happy about this figure i definitely want to get uh, a display shot a group shot of all the x-force figures that i have and i'm happy with this version of wolverine and another X-Men from the Walgreens exclusive, Mystique. Um, this is a great figure. I think they did a spot on job. There's not a whole lot going on with her. The articulation is basic like every other female mold, but we finally got her and this is like comic accurate. So I'm very happy with this figure. And now I did review him already, but we can't do a review. I can't talk about the figures I picked up this summer without bringing up Magneto. This is an excellent figure. I, I really do love this figure. The alternate head sculpt that came with him was a little goofy and I'm not using that one at all. But I do love this figure. I can't talk about my favorite figures this summer without bringing up this Magneto. Here we have the 80th anniversary Uncanny X-Men Waves Silver Samurai. And I'm really happy with this figure. I think the paint apps came out pretty dang good on him. Um, he looks really good in this framing right now. Um, the articulation's a little wonky on him, but I I I'm not really complaining. It's a great figure. Just in a basic stand like that, he looks great. And posing him around, I've had no trouble getting him into some pretty badass poses. So I'm definitely gonna do some display shots with him and that Ninja Wolverine. Um, other than that, I'm very happy with this figure. Real quick, I'm really happy with Beta Ray Bill. I'm really happy that Hasbro gave us an updated version of him. It's not the classic Beta Ray Bill, but it is an updated current version of him. And he came out really nice. I'm pretty happy with this figure. So this is a really good figure and I've needed to pick it up for a while, Mr. Sinister. I'm really happy that Hasbro updated this figure and gave us a new version of him. I do really like the Toy Biz version. I think that one still holds up, but I currently do not have that one. So this one will definitely do for the time being. He's definitely gonna be displayed in my collection. Uh, the articulation on this figure is really great. He's a really hefty mold, which is really cool. Now I do I do like this mold, but I would also like um, maybe like a Bucky Cat size Mr. Sinister. He does, I don't know, he does fluctuate in the comics. So I do like this version, but I would also like an updated current version of Mr. Sinister. That would be pretty cool. Now I don't collect too many movie figures, but this War Machine came out really, really cool. I really like this figure. Um, he doesn't have the best motion or articulation but I can get him in some cool poses and I really do like this figure I think he looks really badass um, so good job Hasbro I really like this figure and lastly I want to give it to Colossus this is a really cool figure it's a classic 90s X-Men video games pretty much every appearance of Colossus has been this version so I'm really glad that Hasbro gave this to us finally got it updated current version of Colossus this is just a really cool figure in my opinion um, yeah be all right guys thanks for watching like i said i am going to be doing a lot more videos i am going to do a setup right now i'm going to do some acba with these some of these figures one of them um i am really happy with all the figures i picked up over the summer i do plan on doing some more videos so definitely subscribe if you haven't already i'm definitely going to do some more action figures but i also want to start mixing in some tech reviews i did just pick up a new camera some new mics some tripods i got a bunch of new gear i did just pick up a backpack and that'll probably be my next review 
Um, but I'm very excited for the future. I'm excited for the things I plan on doing. Um, I hope you guys subscribe if you haven't already. Leave a comment, let me know what you guys are thinking. Let me know what you guys thought about my thoughts on these Marvel Legends. And I'll catch you guys next time. Peace. Crispy.